Hello YouTube. Today I wanted to do an unboxing video of the West Mountain Radio CBA3. The uh, CBA3 is a computerized battery analyzer. Uh, this is a USB device that hooks up to your computer. It's basically um, a big dummy load for a battery. It allows you to plot um, amp hours, watt hours, etc. Uh, of a power source. And I picked this up over the weekend to get a better idea of how much power my uh, sealed lead acid batteries, such as this 9 amp hour model, is capable of giving me. This is important for amateur radio operators because our useful voltage from these batteries, even though they will go down to 10.5 before dying, uh, really stops at about 11.8, 11.7. So this will let me measure at different rates of drain how much uh, power I'm actually going to get out of a battery. So we'll go ahead and open it up. Inside, immediately it includes a rather long USB A to Type B connector. Inside of uh, some pink bubble wrap, we have the unit itself, which you can see we have a large heat sink and a fan, Anderson power pole connectors, um, a light to show that it's connected to the computer, and a light to show that it's draining. Uh, I'm not quite sure what these pins are for. I know that one of them is for connecting the temperature probe. And here's the USB connection. Also with this, they include a short little power pole jumper that's unterminated. See they left the sheath on there. Uh, really high quality cable. This is four, uh, actually this might be 10. I'm not sure, it might be 10 or 12, but then 45 amp uh, Anderson power poles. And then finally, well not quite finally, uh, the actual software which there are, this can be downloaded from West Mountain Radio's website. Um, this is the basic version of the software. They have an upgraded version which will allow you to do uh, duty test cycles. So you can set it up such that, uh, say drain five amps for two minutes and then let it rest. And you can program tests uh, for drain conditions. For a radio operator, you might set it up to drain 10 amps for five minutes and then let it sit for an hour uh, at an amp to simulate receive. Um, <clears throat> the last thing that's included is a little 40 amp blade fuse and they basically explain um, you should really only use this when dealing with lithium batteries because only with a three or so volt cell are you going to be able to draw that much current because this thing will only go up to 150 watts of power so for a 12 volt battery you know we're looking at about the 10 to 11 amp range of a continuous draw um, I will be measuring several different batteries, including this 9 amp hour and a, some 33 amp hours that I have uh, to demonstrate uh, how useful they are for amateur radio use. Now, one other thing I did pick up is this little uh, temperature sensor. I'll let you see that. This does not come with it. Uh, and this plugs into the side so it can measure temperature while you're also measuring power draw. Uh, the whole unit minus the power or the temperature sensor was picked up from Ham Radio Outlet and uh, sells for 140, which is about 10 bucks cheaper than the retail one. So I look very for or look forward to giving this thing a workout, but it it's going to be a very useful piece of test gear. So uh, check back later for a review of the software and some of the tests.